going to give you our first Go Pound Salt dinner demo. We're going to start with the veggies that we've already placed in the aluminum foil boat, drizzled the olive oil on them. I'm going to show you the quick seasoning of the veggies with just a little bit of salt, perfect amount. I'm going to use the ever favorite cell green, as we've mentioned to many of you. About a pinch of salt for every serving of veggies, so we have an entire head of cauliflower here. We're going to hit it with a total of about four pinches of salt. Shouldn't need any more than that. The olive oil is already in it. And there we go. You can already hear it sizzling. So that's going to get started, and uh, as soon as it gets underway, we'll go ahead and pull it off to the side, and we'll let it continue cooking, and then we'll show you how to use your saltwares Himalayan salt block. If you listen closely, you can hear that sizzling nicely, so we will go ahead and pull it over off of the slab. Let that finish cooking off to the side over there, and in just a moment, we'll go ahead and begin cooking the rest of our meal. So you can hear off to the side sizzling our uh, cauliflower veggie for the evening, and you can see already it's starting to get a nice little caramelization on the edges, a little bit of browning. So now we're going to show you how to use your Himalayan saltware salt block. We're going to be cooking sliced chicken breast this evening. Take each of them, lay them on the block. You can hear the sizzling begin. Instead of salting your food, what we're doing is actually fooding our salt, putting food onto the salt instead of salt onto the food. You can hear it immediately begin to sizzle and sear. I'm going to sneak one more in there, and then we're going to show you all that is the deliciousness of actual Himalayan salt block cooking. So we finished the chicken, now we're going to essentially deglaze the block, but we're going to take advantage of some of the chickeny goodness that's on there. We're actually going to use tomatoes. Tomatoes are uh, high in moisture content, because of that they're actually going to cause more of the salts to dissolve. They'll dissolve off some of that chickeny goodness too, you can see that beginning to happen right now. So we'll throw these on. And then as an added perk for the dinner, we're going to throw a few nectarines on here as well. Just let them quickly cook just a little bit. Absorb a little bit of salt off of the block. And the chicken, or the tomatoes and nectarines will actually go very well with the chicken. As a nice little, almost like a chutney or a uh, chipotle marinade. We can throw a little bit of heat in it with some peppers if we want to once we get it into the kitchen. Some fresh peppers. But we're going to allow those to cook for just a minute, and then we will uh, pull off the cauliflower, which has just finished cooking as well. So we'll let you see that as it comes off. Nice and tasty looking cauliflower. A little bit al dente on some, a little bit fully cooked on others. You can kind of pick and choose how you want it to finish. We kind of like a combination of everything. Cross between totally fresh fully cooked with the cell gris, the olive oil, and a little bit of vodka that you tried a minute ago. This will produce an absolutely tasty meal. So we'll put those off to the side and see how well those look right now. A little bit of white on white, not too pretty in terms of color. But you can see the tomatoes here starting to sear and bubble. You can see the uh, nectarines doing the same thing. I'm going to give everything a quick flip. Don't want it to cook too long. You can see a little bit of condensation. Sweat developing right along the tomato. That's good. It tells us it's cooking and it's exactly what we want to happen. You can see some of the chickeny goodness being bonded and absorbed to the tomato itself. So we'll flip all these over. And just to show you, that's what's happening to the tomatoes on the back side. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Here's another example. Looks really good. So we're going to flip this one over. So we're going to come over here. We're going to flip the nectarines over. Those are already starting to caramelize a little bit. That's what happens to sugar with a little bit of heat. These were nice, ripe, sweet nectarines. So we're going to 
slow the salt absorption process down a little bit by letting the skin side be the last part to finish cooking. You can see a nice little bit of brown there. Looks absolutely gorgeous. This is going to be one delicious, tasty meal. So as you can see, our tomatoes and our nectarines have finished cooking. So we're going to pull those off. See a nice looking char there. Not so much char really, but just a little bit of browning. Some of the tastiness comes off the block. Kind of like a cast iron skillet. Well seasoned block, well seasoned skillet. Parts in a tremendous amount of flavor to the foods that you're cooking. So that's what we've done. Tomatoes are a great medium for absorbing those flavors. Pull the nectarines off. Nice and soft, a little bit of salty in them. Those are going to taste absolutely incredible with the chicken. Until they're perfectly cooked, skin starts to come off. So we're going to take that all inside. We've finished for the evening. Total cooking time is about 25 minutes. We thank you for joining us. And as always, we tell you when you join us here at Go Pound Salt, happiness is just a lick away.